right. There we are. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Muckluck Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckluck, and today we're coming back at you with some new goodness uh, in Frostpunk. We are loading this game up. It is a uh, futuristic survival game where everything's frozen. Uh, essentially, you're trying to build up a home and survive, and you've got lots of tough decisions, such as child labor laws. I only know the basics because I haven't played it yet. This is going to be my first look at it. Shout out to DJ Destruction, who's in the chat right now, who gifted this to us. We're going to try this out tonight. Um, all right. I've been messing with the settings for the last little bit here, trying to make sure it looked and sounded good for the stream. I'm worried the music might be a touch loud. I've already turned the master volume down to one. Let's do this. Lower that a little bit more. If it's if the music drowns me out and you guys can't hear me, let me know. All right, new home. The generators were located away from the rest of civilization to ensure the project could be completed in the face of growing unrest and chaos. See chat, Muck plays real games sometimes. Real games. Have you played this before, Azri? All over the world, people flocked to temples to seek comfort and beg their gods for forgiveness. Doomsday cults sprang up in record numbers. No. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped. Hey, kitty pie. Glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Rip, ladybug. Suddenly. Tides had changed. They changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. In Soviet Russia, Frost bites you. Oh my god, Star. There are people dying and you're joking. Who remained we bid to farewell end. to plenty. Ooh, that's we a strong sentence. To leave our and head north. We roamed for weeks. It's like a train Maybe truck. Months, leaving behind all the things. We oh, it, they're they're place. like driving over a frozen lake. Now that doesn't seem dangerous at all. Hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey. Hey, pass me. And we paid the price. Dude, this music is miles. strong. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Oh, dang, that is a strong intro. That is a strong intro. Like, the the music at the title screen was, was good. That right there, like... Oh, man, I could listen to that while I do PvP or something. That was strong. Uh, all right, let me catch up. Kitty Pie, I've been waiting for your stream, and I'm not sleepy at last. I'm sick. You made me sick. I did no such thing. Uh, also, chat, I just got hella sir, no, some odd in Frame Wars. Congratulations. I have no idea what that means. Uh, because Jester's are supposed to stop all this. Hi, Michael, big fan. Pass me to popcorn. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you happen to be new here, Monday through Friday, uh, I stream seven days a week. Monday through Friday, I stream Guild Wars 2, and on the weekends, I do variety. Um, today is the very first time I have ever tried Frostpunk, so we're just getting started. Time for bread lines. I'm using to build Raccoon City. You'd rather they play Yakety Sax in the intro? I didn't say that. I, I was complimenting the music. Uh, pass you what? <laughs> I was I was shortening your name because of the because uh, we were watching the thing. Pass me to popcorn. All right, new home. We fled London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. 
A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. I like the way the screen, like, bleeds open and shut for that stuff. Alright, fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we freeze to death. Stockpile coal and start the generator. Uh, okay, spacebar is pause. That's the arrow keys. Q and E is rotate. Let's see. I literally got six stuff I said went to sleep at 3.51 a.m. Uh, not sick. We'll go at 8, hop in to say hello. Fell asleep again at 8 a.m. We'll go to a really sick and can't breathe. Good lord. You having, like, an allergic reaction or something? Um, stock pile some coal, they say. How... 80 homeless. What? Book of Laws, Economy, Construction, Iron Ore... Steel. Oh, okay. Holding alt does this. What is this? Wood crates, wood crates. Steel. Wood. Am I looking for something that's coal? Steel, wood. Co coal. There's coal. Okay. Uh. Throw the homeless in the fire. Good lord, Starbreaker. Oh my gosh. Alright, so need to stockpile coal. Should I just send everyone for this? Okay. Alright, we'll send workers out to both of those things. So we got 20 people left over. Uh, what, what else we got? We got coal. There, oh, there's more coal over here. Alright, we'll send people out to all the coal, I guess. Oh, it's like, okay, so this is just like an animation. I don't literally have to wait for them to walk over and come back. It, it says that you get coal, like, immediately. Workers on coal, wood, and steel? Well, I'm sure I'll need everything eventually. Uh, let's see, construction. Tents. A thinly insulated shelter for 10 people to sleep in. Base heating level 1. I mean, I've got like 50 people, right? So I need like 50 tents. Oh, we're out of wood. Okay. Uh, let's do none there. That's steel. That's wood. Alright, let's send them over there. Um, this is such a cool game. I can imagine myself being one of them and see it from their eyes. Or 160 coal and rising. So I'm guessing we're using the engineers to build this stuff. Is it a variation of an RTS kind of Starbreaker? But it's... Like, you're not doing combat, to my knowledge. It's more like building and surviving a hellish world, you know? Oh, there we go. We got enough coal. Uh, need six coal to heat in all zones. Do I just hit steam level one? The generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now food. There will be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Um, secure a raw food supply. Build a hunter's hut or a hothouse. Alright, let's pause for a second. Food. 
Uh, hunters base here hunt every night, venturing beyond the city to track prey in the frozen wasteland. They provide up to 15 raw food per day. Uh, cookhouse turns raw food stuffs into nutritious meals. One unit of raw food is used to prepare two standard food rations. So we need a lot of, a lot of wood for that. Okay, so let's... I've already got some people over here, don't I? Okay. Let's take the workers off of that. And... Move them over here. Where do I see my resource? Oh, there we go. I see wood is up at the top of the screen. Okay. Batten down the hatches, the steam sail coming. Yeah, steam sail, epic games, humble bundle. There's lots of lots of sales out there for those of you that are interested. Is this another horror game? What's up, Jachagan? No, it's more of a real-time strategy game, and it's like steampunk. Uh, keep people alive where the world has frozen over. If I screw up, everybody dies. Um, I saw you raise your eyebrows like I said something weird. I just have developed imagination. Uh... No, I kind of get it. I, I feel that way about, like, I play RPGs like that. Like, I, I pick the class where I, it's like, if I was in that world, I would kind of want to be that thing, you know? But I just, RTS, I, I never wanted to put my feet, put my uh, feet in the shoes of the people dying in the cold, you know? All right, do we have enough? Okay, we've got enough. Wood. All right, so we need a hunter's hut. Uh... Let's, let's put this more on the outskirt, I guess. And we'll do cookhouse next. I don't understand what base heating level means. Does that mean it produces that much heat, or does that mean it uh, requires that much heat? Hit one, two, and three. Oh, it's like game speed? Got it, okay. Okay, it's like game speed. All right, so, wait, hold on. What's going on here? What is this? No roof over our heads. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in the terrible cold. We better do something about it. I'll provide shelter. You have two days to provide shelter. Okay. So, pause for a second here. Um, okay, let's take them off of that. All right, I think they're sleeping right now. Let's see, steel, wood, coal. I'll go ahead, I'll put them on steel. Um, what is this? The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm speeding the game up. Um, hold on, is it like... Oh, free time. Okay, wow. Oh, so they're not working right now. So coal is actually going down because we're burning it up. But... Okay, so they're, they're just, like, resting. So you, you actually have to stockpile enough coal to survive the night. Interesting. All right, speed it up. Get a move on, chaps. There's plenty of work to do. Yes! At least we're alive. Not everyone is so lucky. One sick, 30 homeless. So I need three more shelters. Okay, so... One, two, three. That should finish my little quest. I need a cookhouse next. Yeah, perfect fit. And do we have enough wood for more hunters? 
Yes, we do. All right. Burning coals that got us in this mess in the first place. Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relieved with a roof, even a flapping one, over their head. I assume I would eventually be able to, like, upgrade tents to something better. People from our convoy, with basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. I would imagine they'd be dead. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Uh, hope just raised? That's cool. Build workshop, build beacon, rescue survivors of our lost expedition. Oh, I have to assign workers here for them to become hunters. That makes sense, but that sucks. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, let's withdraw them. Work here. So I got like five getting steel. I think I've got a full stack getting coal, a full stack getting wood, a full stack getting food. I uh, found a spot where I can breathe from both nostrils. I'm happy for you. Where's food? Oh, it's it's up there. We're very low. Let's do... Minus five, plus five. We got two sick, but not seriously. Medical post, uh, 5S treats the most common ailments. 25 wood. Resource gathering post, people working here gather resources nearby coal piles, wood crates, and steel wreckage. What does it consider nearby? So does it, so I have to like, I, I have to build the city all the way out to there before I can do that? Not adjacent to street. I don't even think I have a street. You got cooks turning the food into meals? Uh, I just, tr I think I just assigned people to that. Uh, Alright, let me pause this for a second. I need to build a workshop and then build a beacon. Alright, workshop not adjacent to street. I'm hella confused right now. Make street. Alright, what is that under? I don't see a street. Road is next to hammer. Ah, okay. All right. What is this out here? Hmm. Well, this looks like a big open area, so I guess I'll do it there. Wait, did that... Did it go? Okay, there's little flags there. I guess that worked. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's starting to appear now. All right, cool. Okay. All right, workshop. I guess. All right, food is suddenly skyrocketing. I love it. I love it. So I don't think I need five people in here. Let's take a few of them out, and what is that? Steam cores? Okay, that seems like something for later. Let's move them there. And is it, like, if I have my engineers do something, if the engineers are mining or gathering materials, will they, will I be unable to build structures? Is it like that? Oh shoot, coal pile depleted. Hmm. What is this? Coal, coal deposit. Build a coal mine here to start extraction. That seems important. Alright. Um, close this time with workers. Add new resource. Whoa! 
Okay. Uh, beacon. This is the thing I needed. All right. Uh, do you remember what a 35 steel? I don't have enough steel. Can I start it even though I don't have enough? As I send scouts into the wilderness for goods and survivors and bring them into our city. Lookouts will also spot incoming groups and people. Okay, cool. So there's some video games where they let you start a project even if you don't have enough resources and it just takes the resources from you as you gather them. I love those infinitely more than the ones where you have to have it all on the front end. Uh, discontent? Why? Cold at home. Oh, well, deal with it. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what a steam core is yet. All right, beacon is building. Two sick, one gravely. Ah, crap. All right, health. Let's do a medical post. Um, let's do it. Oh, it has to be adjacent to a street? Shoot. All right, all right. Um, does everything have to be adjacent to a freaking street? All right, so there's that. Let's try it again. Street is not connected to the generator. Are you for real? Is it connected now? Like... What is this? Uh, family torn apart. A woman came f forward after we built the workshop. She said her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure this is all out there. If she wants to join the first scout team we'll send out, she urges you to hurry. We'll do what we can is my only option. Pull me in on Discord. I'm, I'm not in Discord right now. Mild frostbite, a citizen became gravely ill. Okay, is it connected yet? There, finally, good lord. One of our people has come gravely ill due to frostbite. This would keep happening if we have people work at such cold. Consider assigning the radical treatment or sustain life law. Beacon researched allows us to build a beacon. Um, okay, so I need to build a beacon and look at that law. Is it heating? Hunter's gear, hot house. What was it? It was like radical research. Can you play with the angles like up and down? Uh, a little bit you can, a little bit. Generator range, steam hubs, exploration industry, more scouts, outpost deposit, factory, master gathering. Gathering is fine right now. So, my hothouse insulation, insulation infirmary. With your insulation. What is this? These are she's gonna say as hunters setting out from the food war turn with more raw food from each hunt. Uh, da, 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 what is a coal thumper? Pumping pressurized water underground coal deposits. The coal thumper washes precious resources serve for you a pile of it to find this war for enough for two gathering posts. Okay. Heating heaters. Allows us to use heaters to heat workplaces during working hours. Each heater raises the workplace temperature by one level and consumes one coal per hour when running. Steam hub, when powered by the generator, these contraptions create additional smaller heat zones around them. Each active steam hub consumes three coal per hour. All right, let's do heaters right now. And then let's see about building that beacon. Do this whole adjacent to, to the street thing. <laughs> Super toxic. Okay. Alright, there's that. What is this? 
Uh, one of our people is gravely ill. If you sign the radical treatment law, the gravely ill will be treated in medical posts, but may undergo risky amputations as a result. Alternatively, you might sign the sustained life law to keep them alive until we build an infirmary. Oh, this wasn't the right screen that I was looking at at all. I mean, I'm building the infirmary right now. Uh, radical treatment. For, uh, we'll try everything to cure them from invasive surgery to amputations. Gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. 30% of the gravely ill treated will be left as amputees. Discontent will rise slightly. Uh, sustain life. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputations or radical treatment. Uh, just, uh, just, uh, uh, the gravely ill will be kept alive but untreated in medical posts. Hope will rise, discontent will rise. The gravely ill will not be treated and remain a burden. The gravely ill will take up beds in medical posts. Oh my god. I mean, <laughs> we're, it's the end of the world here. We can't really have dead weight, so we've got to try to fix them, I feel like. I feel like we have to try to fix them. No matter which one I do, hope and discontent will rise. But one of them, they remain a burden in beds. The other, there's a chance that they can help us. Radical treatment. Alright. Uh... All right, food seems okay, coal seems okay. I think we're low on wood. Uh, I need a sawmill over there. All right, there we go. It may make sense, but it doesn't make it less cruel. Even with all our advances in medicine, we have to resort to this. Beacon built. We're no longer lost and blind. From now on, our people will be able to sur uh, survey the icy barrens that surround us, Frostland. Oh, what's going on? We made a balloon! Dictator, dapper dictator muck has risen. Oh my god. Chat, we got a balloon! This means we've won, right? Whoa, what's this screen? Lost expedition. Send scouts here to learn more about this place. Numerous tents. We can see people... Whoa, oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Uh, we can see people moving out. They must be lost members for our expedition. How do I send people over there? Uh... Okay, so, oh, I gotta make scouts. Okay, I need workers and wood. All right. Okay, so I'm, I'm sort of already working on that right now. Uh, okay. Technology tree, we're still working on heaters. All right. Closed at this. Oh, what's going on? Uh, ready to search. People cheer as the giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone should feel proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to go looking for our lost people in Frostland. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. We needed a win. Okay. Oh, discontent went down a tick. That's cool. Um. I think everyone's like on break right now. Yeah. What are you guys doing? I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I've got homes for everyone, right? Is How do I tell? Is there a way to tell if anybody's homeless, just like at a glance somewhere? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. so we need to, we need to say 15, whoa, nine people are gravely sick. What? Oh, I didn't have anyone in the medical, po oh my god, I didn't assign anyone to the medical post. God dang it. 
one person just died. God dang it. I didn't realize I had to actually select something at the medical post. I thought building it was enough. One of our people died. Sickness, accidents, and f deadly cold will keep claiming lives in this harsh world. We need a way to dispose of the body. 